Morning all, welcome back. Tuesday morning in Whitby, end of the summer, but the sun's still shining. Town's been a bit subdued, not as many visitors as normal. I think it's something to do with uh, the death of Her Majesty. You know, I've been watching the TV this morning, it's just wall to wall. I, I can only watch so much of it. It, it, it's a bit, although I find, you know, it's a celebration, isn't it? But it's very upsetting, to be honest with you. I'm glad when it's all over on the 19th, to be honest with you. And I'm going on holiday on the 19th. Uh, I'm going to Bologna in Italy with Mrs M and some friends. And uh, we're going to have a jolly good old time over there. So I'm not going to be able to get my uh, reviews done. Or I'll probably try and get them done. Um, I'll probably try and get them done. But I doubt I'll be able to publish them, you know, to get a, a, a strong enough internet connection over there. And I'll be too busy drinking wine and eating pasta. They're fabulous. It's the home, if you didn't know. It's the home of... Uh, well, it's home of Maserati cars, but more importantly, it's the capital of Italian food. If you want the best in Italian food, you go to Bologna. That's it. I used to work there, by the way. Um, oh, yeah, and then uh, back to Whitby. Uh, there's not been a lot going on now, but uh, end of October. Um, I'm already thinking about doing my reviews because it's the goth weekend and there'll be goths all over town and there's the tomorrow's ghost festival and uh fields of the nephilim uh, headlining and guess who's got a ticket <laughs> <laughs> me <laughs> my most favorite goth band spaghetti goth if you've never seen them uh, have a look on youtube a couple of numbers worth looking at are uh, psycho note and uh, Moonchild. absolutely fantastic they're bound to be in the set but there you go so we got this one, uh, I've got some notes on it, uh, it's a bit complicated and my head's not in a good space with all this Her Majesty business going on, so I thought, right, I'll get it all written down so I don't forget it. It's a 10 gram fully, by the way, colours to the mass, this is a top banana snuff, absolutely top banana. If you want more information on this, drop me a private message and I'll get back to you. Um, it's got a 10 gram, look at that for quality, 10 gram tin. Absolutely beautiful, printed, top and bottom, and um, yeah, yeah. The, it comes in a, 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 a shrink-wrapped um, plastic wrapper uh, to keep it in good condition. And when you open this and you get the tin note, glory be. <laughs> then you'll know why it's a top banana. So yeah, it's a, it's, it's a true craft-based snuff. Uh, it's uh, the uh, base uh, flower is actually grown. It's Burley in Virginia. It's actually grown in Switzerland. So this is a leaf to tin product. It's another one. It's a craft based snuff. Absolutely glorious. Oh man, you, again, you just, oh, look at that. Just feast your eyes on that, my friends. Feast your eyes on that. Is that not a glorious thing to behold? I think so. <laughs> and you get the base flower out of the tin. You get a hint of uh, mintiness, menthol. Not too much, but it, it just smells a little bit complex. It's got a sort of medium coarse grind. More to, no, more medium. More medium, I'd say. Uh, the tin looks a little bit depleted because I had it in my pocket last night and I get a good old bash in. Um, anyway, um, Let's get stuck in. As I say, it's deep brown in colour. It's a medium grind. Um, you get that lovely base flower straight out the tin. Absolutely glorious. First bump of the day. Not too much. It's strong as this. It's a strong... It's... Strong isn't the word. It's bold. That's what it is. It's bold. <laughs> Front and all. Bang. Ding dong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's my snuff, thank you? I'm going to need it. Where is it? Am I going to sneeze? Probably. I don't care. <laughs> I notice mostly when people are doing snuff reviews, nobody ever sneezes, do they? <laughs> I can't help myself. And this one is a sneezy snuff. It is a sneezy snuff. That's what it is. So when you get it up, uh, up your outer, I'm going to take a second bump. You get an instant burn with it, a glorious burn, it's full on. You get this menthol, you get that base flower. It's p 
peppery. That's probably where the sneezy bit's coming from. It's peppery. And I'll tell you what it's got drifting around in the background. Oh man, hang on a minute. Let's just enjoy this. There can't be much better things in life, can there? Sat on the West Pier in Whitby, looking up at the Abbey, the sun on my face, the sea crashing in on the, on the West Cliff Beach over here. A bit of mythos penalty up me outer. <laughs> I'll tell you, mates, life is good. Life is good. Yeah, you get a little bit of a biscuity sweetness. Now, for my American friends, when I say biscuit, I mean cookies. That's what I mean. You, you, you know that anyway. And you get a little bit of that sweetness. It's only faint. You know, it's not the start of the show, but it just brings a little added... Yeah, yeah. You get the menthol, you get the pepperiness. And then you get just a hint, a little hint of sweetness going on in the background. It's absolutely to die for, mates. So that's it, is it? Is that it? Have you done? I think I have. How long have we been going on for? I can't see. 6, 17, that's it. Seven minutes should be my limit. Have you noticed these videos are starting to get a bit longer? <laughs> You think I'd be running out of stuff to say, wouldn't you? So that's it. Uh, we'll get this posted up on Wednesday, and then um, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm going to try and do this live Facebook stream Sunday, five o'clock, if I can get the technology sorted out and uh, get my hands on my new uh, on my new products. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for a week until I'm back from Bologna. So hey, thanks for watching. I hope to see you on Sunday as well. Thanks for tuning in as ever, and I'll see you soon. Keep well, guys. Chin chin.